I'm going to make the sheath for the sacks now. Um, I'm going to start it. I've wrapped the sacks in cling film to start with and I've made myself a little template out of paper so I know how much leather I need to cut. That's, that's it basically. Um, I, I've left a little bit overhanging which I can trim later on. So I cut out the leather to that uh, paper template and I soaked it in water last night and I've left it overnight wrapped in cling film. The reason for wrapping the knife in the cling film is because obviously the sheath is now wet or the leather is now wet and that's where it's sitting. So as I said I'm going to do some carving on this leather. And I'm going to do two panels, one on the front and one on the back. Um, I've drawn out the front panel. <clears throat> it's kind of, kind of a, a goatee dragon. <laughs> and then I've done, I'm putting all this detail in as well. And then what will be the back of the sheath, it just continues over there on the back. So I've, li I've already lined it up so that the... Um, so that the panel is exactly on the front of the sheath as it's hanging and that is roughly there. So what I'm going to do now is transfer all these lines onto the leather and I'll just do that with a pen. Don't bother really putting too much detail in at this point because I can just refer back to my drawing there's two panels on the sheath but the design transfers across the centre which will, be, which will be the bottom of the sheath so I can't really for sure know where these lines are going to match and meet so I've, the other side I've roughly drawn the design I want um, and as I turn that over I will then, I will then merge all these lines like the dragon's tail uh, and these like spiral, uh, vine spirals, I will I will merge all them so that they flow through the sheath. Right, guys, I'll come back when I've done that uh, transferring. <coughs> My design marked out, and I would start cutting now, but I have to go out. And um, there's my swivel knife that I'll be marking and cutting the leather with. I might modify this. It's the only one I've got. And really it's a bit too wide for most of the work I do, which is quite intricate. I uh, just started cutting the pattern with the swivel knife. See this knife? It is a bit big really. I think my leather is probably slightly a bit too wet as well. cut out the pattern now with the swivel knife and um, a little craft knife and I'm going to get to work on it just really just beveling all the cuts down um, back into the background so I can make the actual carving stand out or just jump off the thing. I've not done it really a lot of leather carving you know I've done very little really I've done a good lot of wood carving but uh, leather carving is slightly different so I want to see if I can make a mess of this now <laughs> you probably may have seen leather videos I don't know where to start so
all I'm going to do is push you see the shadow now and the contrast all I'm going to do is push the background down um, to make the actual tail stand out and what I'm also going to do is I'm, I don't like these sharp edges so I made a little sort of rounding over to I think I, I'm not sure it might be called a sheep's foot I don't know but it's it's just a bit of silver steel uh, and I'm going to use that to to just push them down so that it's not a totally rounded uh, a totally square edge which I don't like Yeah, this leather is probably a little bit wet. I may, I may just go so far now, and then I think I'll just let it dry out slightly. But I'll come back when I've done some more, more work on it, guys. Sort of where I'm up to at the moment. Instead of that flat background finish, I decided to use this little kind of stippling tool, which is a looks a bit better because it 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 lifts the it lifts the vines and the and the uh, the tail off the background better it, it defines the two better the only trouble is that that's the only one I've got <laughs> that tiny little thing so on these bigger areas it's been taking quite a long time to to uh, you know to stipple that in I really will have to order a slightly bigger one of them for doing bigger areas um, because it's again using such a small tool it's very easy to develop some kind of pattern with the tool which I, I want to try and keep away from so you, you can see the impression that the you know the the sort of stamp the tool is you can see that stamp impression all along the tool you can I can actually see it in a few places which I'm gonna have to go over again because the, the leather uh, the leather changes slightly as it dries. Well I've carried on the background stippling with my little tiny titchy stippling tool which has been very very tedious. That's where I'm up to at the moment. That will be at the front of the sheath. And obviously the back of the sheath where you can see the design just carries on around. Probably more there actually like that. And brings it out to life a bit more when it's in the round and rather than flat. I know it's not the best leather carving in the world, but as I'm not uh, a very proficient in leather carving, I'll just call it a good attempt. I'm going to carry on working on these backgrounds and just tidy them up a little bit. And I've run out of brass uh, rod with a, in a small enough diameter for what I want to do on this, but. Uh, I think it'll look the part of that. Yeah, I'll probably give it a rest now for the next um, day or two. Get on with some other things. And when all my little uh, bits and pieces arrive, I'll do a bit more work on it. I'll, I will keep this in, in cling film now for until I work on it again so it doesn't dry out. I'll give it a spray just before I put it in. Hopefully it doesn't grow any mould. <laughs> but um, this, uh, I forgot to mention by the way, this is, this is vegetable tan leather, veg tan that it's called. And it's four millimeters thick. It's really it's a bit thick really, 
when I ordered this stuff, I ordered three mil and four mil came. It, uh, so, but you know, these areas have been now panned down to good three mil. But right, fellas, I will. Uh, I will see you in the next video. It might be a few days away, but so uh, I'll I'll wrap this up now, and uh, I'll see you soon.